the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. Carmelo Anthony out there with LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Bazemore in at the two. And for Boston, Brown and Tatum in at forward. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Horford in at the five spot. You know what's interesting about tonight's game, Clark? Both of these teams know how to get stops. Agreed, B.A. And it's a combination of individual defenders that are excellent and committed and connected um, defensively. And, and then it's also the team defense, awareness, communication, along with great effort. This will be a defensive battle for sure. James is really a clever player. I mean, he uses trickery as much as he does brute force, proving to be one step ahead of them there. Now here's Tatum. Three-pointer, no good. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to James. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. James has got five points. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find he's a selfless distributor. Now Horford. Outside Schroeder. Off the mark there with a three. First quarter of play, a minute in. Westbrook outside. Davis with a screen on Schroeder. The shot by James, no good. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Westbrook against Smart. For three. Anthony grabs the board. The Lakers have gone two of three to get this one going. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Back to Westbrook. Shoots over Tatum. Westbrook can't hit. For Boston, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Brown finds Schroeder. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Can't hit that one. Oh, strong move toward the rim. Just couldn't get it to fall. Here's James. And the layup is good off the glass. James has got his third bucket of the night. James has gone three for four from the floor tonight. Schroeder passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. Tries to snap the cold streak. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Davis. Here's Bazemore. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Now here's Tatum. Smart outside. Now here's Tatum. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. I'll tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him.
Oh, he finds a way to score. One shot. And that one falls for Tatum. During his rookie season, Jason Tatum was Boston's go-to guy in the Eastern Conference Finals. A rare opportunity, and that young fella delivered at a high level. Now here's Westbrook. To the middle. Double team on James. Westbrook outside. Shot clock at six. Over Tatum. And there's another one for the Lakers. You know, he gets such elevation on that jump shot, does Westbrook. And his concentration, impeccable. You know, if there's one criticism, and I think it's really unfair, that's leveled at Russell Westbrook, it's his scoring efficiency or lack thereof for his career. He's a little below average in that one category. But you go back to the shooting percentages of some of the greats in the history of the game, and they weren't uber efficient either. So I think that's a bit unfair to Russell Westbrook. Now here's Schroeder. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Outside, Brown. Jacks up a three. It doesn't go for him. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Well, Clark, if there's a game plan against Westbrook, defenses want to make him a perimeter shooter. Agree, and yet he's refined that part of his game, but you certainly don't want him coming downhill, getting to the rack, because he is at his absolute best when he's doing that. Schroeder finds Horford. Back to Schroeder. Left side, Brown. Smart with the ball. Yep, that one goes. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Yeah, you know, every season LeBron James, he adds another year just like we all do. And everybody else in the league does. But it seems like his play has yet to fall off, which is absolutely remarkable. To me, he's the embodiment of the 21st century big-time nba -er, but also the fountain of youth. Falls for Westbrook. And Clark, many were unsure of how LeBron would hold up playing in the West for the Lakers. He's as strong as ever, man. Yeah, you know, that was a question mark and something that we all were interested in seeing, but still logging heavy minutes and taking punishment, attacking the rim, and still getting it done at the highest of levels. Just remarkable. I mean, you've got to give him tons of credit for his mindset, his conditioning, the way he prepares for the season, and the nature of his game. I mean, his game is athletic, and it's also cerebral. Now here's Brown. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Let's it go from 11, and that one good. I like the confidence and the assurance that Brown is taking these shots with. I mean, his mid-range game is actually on point. Pass to Bazemore from deep. Rebounded by the Celtics. Smart finds Schroeder. Shoots over Westbrook. Oh, Westbrook with a block. Hey, the athleticism of Westbrook, not only on display offensively, he can throw shots out of there, too. Here's Bazemore beyond the arc. The Lakers with another miss. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but... On occasion, you'll have periods like this. Schroeder into the lane. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem.
Outside, Brown. Screen by Horford. Brown with it. And oh, it is. Nasty right Down there. Oh, my goodness. That was wicked. What a nasty finish. Brown with that amazing athleticism putting on a show out there with jams like that. Now here's Westbrook. Here's James. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. First one at the line is good. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. And every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to see him at this level. Canners checked in for Horford. The Lakers also with a sub. Nuns checked in for Westbrook. He does not get the second one. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Pass to Bazemore. None with it. James, outside. And here's Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. And the Lakers lead by six. Boston's gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Tatum passes to Smart. Takes a three. No good there. And it's the Lakers the other way. And here's none. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Schroeder against James. On the attack, Schroeder. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on LeBron James. Boy, last season, Grant, Schroeder really improved his poise. He took his time, and it paid off. Yeah, B.A., it led to better shots and, of course, better accuracy. And you could Take see the confidence his coach had in letting Schroeder do his thing. That's a player who's earning his coach's trust. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Here's Ellington. Pass to Horton Tucker. On the wing, Davis. Six to shoot. Basket's good. And the Lakers lead by eight. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Now here's Schroeder. Williams misses. Here's Horton Tucker. Davis, a screen. Pass to Ellington. Three-pointer. Called in by Brown. Boston's gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Shots good by Schroeder. Well, it wasn't a pretty start for him, but now he's got a bucket to build on. And it's a Lakers ball. Six-point game. Here's Ellington. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Davis. Banked it in off the glass. Davis, a real mismatch inside because of his skill, size, and strength. Now Schroeder. Outside, Brown. Canner sets a screen. 
Davis against Brown. Shoots over Davis. That one off the back iron and out. So it's the Lakers now. They're leading by eight. Three-pointer, Anthony. Not going to go that time. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Schroeder. That one no good. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Here's Horton Tucker. Davis a screen. Pass to Ellington. 14 feet away. And that one's good. Davis. And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Both teams will make substitutions. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Here's Lankford. No good on the three. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Outside none. Here's the three. They get it again. Tries again. It's tipped. And he recovers it. The three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Nunn's got five points. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Williams. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Pritchard to stop the run. On target from range. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's James. Out of bounds. It'll be Celtics ball. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. And the Celtics shooting 33% in the first quarter. Pass to Canner. Here's Pritchard. Releases. And he knocks the jumper down. Five points in the game. The Lakers in the lead. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Davis. Rebound Boston. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Tatum against Davis. Now here's Tatum. Canner sets a screen. No good from outside. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers ahead. They lead by eight. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. And earlier we checked in with Marcus Smart, who told us how his upbringing helped shape his approach to the game. I'm the youngest of four boys. So if there's anybody who has siblings older, younger, you understand the struggle, especially being the youngest. You know, you always got to fight for what you want. 
And no question, Smart is considered one of the toughest guys in this league. You love his passion and his willingness to sacrifice his body for the team every night. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Dwight Howard out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's LeBron James. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Ellington in at the two spot. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Last season, it seemed a weight was lifted for the Celtics. Coming off of a disappointing 2018-2019 campaign, Jason Tatum said maybe they believed their own hype too much. But they did bounce back, and he said the bonding experience of playing for the U.S. national team with three Boston teammates helped foster that. <coughs> Guys? All great points, Allie. Thank you. Like the sun rising every day, you can count on LeBron to have his head up scanning the floor and finding the open man. Outside Tatum. From deep. And the Celtics another three. And something not many folks know about you, Grant, you're a terrific piano player. Oh, B.A., terrific. Oh, you're very kind in that. But, yes, I can play the piano. I took piano lessons uh, growing up as a child. I hated them. My mother made me take them. I did quit once I got into high school. And now, later on in life, I love to play the music. I can't walk by a piano without sitting down and playing. And I'm wishing that I had stuck with it and I didn't quit back when I was 13 years old. Uh, but it's one of my great passions and hobbies and something I enjoy doing very much. Yeah, nice job that time by rolling after setting the solid screen. He's excellent in these screen and roll sets. Outside Tatum. With some arc. And the layup is good. Tatum's got 10 points in the quarter. Yeah, you know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. Pass to Ariza. Now James from deep three-point range. And it's Richardson with the rebound. Here's Pritchard. He's got five. Horford for three. LeBron with the rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And the Lakers tack on two more. You know, for LeBron, I think that mid-range shot is an important one for him to have in his bag. It keeps the defense honest. Outside Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. Launches it. The Lakers with a rebound. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. James passes to Westbrook. Back to James. The floater. Here's Pritchard. Here's Langford. Checked by James. Left side Tatum. Shoots a fadeaway. No luck on that one. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Hey, it's been a little bit like back to the future with Dwight Howard. What a season this guy had last year. Returns to L.A., finds himself in an ideal situation. And while he's not putting up huge numbers, his impact is very large. Howard finds James. Howard, the screen. And LeBron James hits from deep. Now it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. He shoots it. Shot is good by Langford. He's got five. And with Howard back at L.A. with the Lakers, it was a bit of a redemption how he left. Yeah, you know, he didn't exit on the best of terms. And LeBron wanted him back in the mix, and he was a perfect fit for this particular team. Great to see him back on the court playing well and having fun. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. Los Angeles has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. 
James, left side. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. 16 feet out, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Pass to Pritchard. The kick out to Richardson. Five on the clock. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Richardson's gotten himself on the board with a three there. You know, that shot right there, Richardson's three-point shooting, is what's helped him stay in the league as a second-round pick. Outside Davis. Now, here is James. Tatum pulls it in. Boston has gone four of six from outside. Looking sharp here in the second. Pass to Horford. Richardson with it. Driving to the basket. Oh, and he slams it down. Wow. Exactly what Richardson can do on the drive. I mean, he can handle the ball. He's got a quick step. And he can finish when he gets to the rim. Here's Pritchard. He's got five. Screen by Horford. Tatum from long range. And the Celtics another three. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. James finds Davis. Over Tatum. Oh, no good. Unable to end this run. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Now here's Horford. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Westbrook outside. And again, the Lakers no good. Boston's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Pass to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Let's it go from deep. Howard grabs the miss. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Well, Grant, you stayed all four years in college. That's a rarity now. What were some of the pros and cons of that choice? You know, that was a great decision for me all four years in college playing at Duke. But nowadays, you're almost penalized at times for staying in school for so long. Our players today want to get into the league, get some of the best training from coaches, instruction. Uh, for me, it was great, but the landscape has changed. The modern game is younger. Players uh, are more developed, more skilled. It is sort of the environment that we're in here now in the NBA. Hits the second from the line. Smart with the ball. He's got five. Brown, a screen on none. To the inside. Horford takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Horford's gotten his first bucket of the night. Few bigs are better in the two-man game than Al Horford. He can pop out for the shot, or he can roll to the rim, too, just like you saw there. Now here's none. He's got five. And that one is stuffed right through. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And so it's Boston with it. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. And Brown is a guy who is hunting contact. Defenders have to be more cautious around him when they're defending. Huh? 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. Canners checked in for Boston. The Lakers also with a sub. Westbrook's checked in. And he's good on the second. The Lakers trail. James outside. Pass to Bazemore. Now Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. And here's Schroeder. To the paint. Here's Canner. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Pass to Bazemore. James with the ball. The three is up. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's Smart, hounded by Westbrook. Back to Tatum. No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And here's James. Here's Bazemore. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Schroeder. The Lakers with a rebound. Back to Davis. Shoots over Tatum. And again, no good by the Lakers. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 16-5 run. Well, Grant, you won two titles at Duke. Now, there used to be a sense that Duke players didn't translate to the NBA, but you helped change all that, and that's certainly not the case anymore. You know, B.A., it is incredible to see the amount of players in today's game who've come from Duke and are doing fantastic. I mean, I think it really started with Kyrie Irving as the first pick in the draft in 2011. And in the last 10 years, the number of players who've come in and made an impact right away, players like Jason Tatum, last year's most improved Brandon Ingram, of course, Zion Williamson, everyone's favorite rookie from last year. Uh, so there's a lot of talent uh, in the NBA, and Duke is certainly well represented. It's fun to see. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Los Angeles has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Pass to James. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists in the game. So special and exciting to watch greatness. LeBron James tonight playing at the highest level. Right side, Brown. And the jam by Brown. Hey, the defense has no answer for Jalen Brown. I mean, when he's dribbling the ball, his teammates know they're in good hands. The Lakers have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Brown 
down against James. And there's 138 left in the first half. The Celtics with the lead. Now Schroeder. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Here's Bazemore. Sends it home from three-point land. He's got five. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Outside Tatum. Pass to Canner. Outside Tatum. Canner sets a screen. And it's Tatum with the three. Tatum's got 19 points. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. Now here's Schroeder. His fourth foul already, and we're not even at halftime. He'll likely limit his minutes the rest of the way. That free throw, no good. Nuns checked in for Westbrook. So he can't get either to fall. Usually free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. A nice shot by Bazemore. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. The Celtics shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. None against Smart. Six on the shot clock. With the drive. Unable to get that one. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Celtics out in front, up by four. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 19 points, six rebounds, and one steal. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Efficiency. You know, I think that's big. That's a key to success. you got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting a timely rebound really good. Strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. 
You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Filling out the wings, it's Smart and Brown. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. And it's Schroeder in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And Bazemore pulls it down. The Lakers trail. From behind the arc. The rebound, Celtics. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Smart passes to Horford. Outside Tatum. Screen by Horford. Tatum can't hit. And for the Lakers, they're shooting at about 51% for the game so far in this one. Pass to James. Here's Bazemore. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got four assists now tonight. Tatum against Anthony. Smart outside. 4-3. Nails it from beyond the arc. Smart has got 10 points. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Boston's going one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Down low. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. How about Horford showing you that he knows a little bit about elevation? The big fella bouncing to the rack. Here's James. Yep, that one goes. James has got 24 points. That's a great move right there. But really, you just expect those kind of plays from him now. Brown passes to Smart. Let's the three fly. Rebound, the Lakers. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. A nice shot by Bazemore. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. And it's smart missing. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Here's Bazemore. 14 points for him. And Anthony slams it in. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. You know, you look at Anthony Davis, you watch him play, and he just does so much good stuff on the floor. Scores the ball inside and outside, can defend at the rim or on the perimeter. He really is the complete package. Oh, my. You have to respect the aggressiveness he plays with. Ooh, to the left wing. Three-pointer, Anthony. Rebounded by the Celtics. Horford's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Smart. Here's the floater. That one drops for him. And now a three-point Boston lead. And with Davis, as you said, it's the scoring, but it's also the defense. No question about that, B.A. I mean, it's rare to see a player that's so complete at his age. He's still really young as a basketball player. Easily, easily one of the top five guys in the league. And I think he's got an MVP in his future, too. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. Brown can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Horford with the block. Horford relentless as a defender in good position. That shot never had a chance. For Boston, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Now here's Smart. 12 points for him. And here's Brown for three. James with the rebound. James has got five rebounds tonight. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Pass to Davis. Over Smart. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's foul number two for him.
Here's Schroeder. Up top, Horford. Inside. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by Horford. Brown extremely accomplished down low and worthy of respect as a result. Destroys whoever tries to guard him in the paint. James, a screen on Smart. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Smart. Outside Tatum. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Russell Westbrook. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. The first free throw is good. And so Tatum nails both of them. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. It's James on the wing. Defended by Brown. And it's James with the jam. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Schroeder, and he banks in the layup. Schroeder's got six. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Pure from three-point range. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Pass to Horford. It's Brown on the wing. Checked by James. And it's blocked by Davis. Davis's anticipation and timing. So good at the defensive end. This guy is a shot-blocking machine. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. I mean, I just love how he, he reads the play so well and gets himself in the air at the perfect moment. I mean, that was a terrific denial. Now off the inbound. Shots good by Schroeder. Schroeder's gotten his third basket of the night. The Lakers have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. James passes to Davis. Shoots over Tatum. And again, it's the Lakers. It's very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication timeout, problems. Timeout. timeout called. The Celtics. That's tipped. Here's Bazemore, covered by Schroeder. And finished off by Davis. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Tatum passes to Smart. Fires for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Smart's got eight points in the quarter. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. There's the triple. And 
the Lakers hit again from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Schroeder. Give him eight points now. Out to Horford. Pass to Brown. Over James. No good on the shot. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Davis with a screen on Schroeder. Now here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. Tatum with it. 23 points in the game. And here's Smart. Shot from 12. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got six rebounds now in the game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky small forward with a quick trigger release, an elite score. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. Austin trailing. Pass to Brown. To end the run. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got six rebounds now in the game. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. The bank shot. No good. The Celtics shooting 44% since the third quarter got underway. Unloads. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Los Angeles has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. And the shot goes in. James has got nine points now in the quarter. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Now here's Richardson. He's got five. Shot is up. Howard grabs the miss. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Here's Ellington. Tries again. And Howard with the lay-in. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you. And I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Now here's Tatum. 23 points in the game. Oh, I tell you, when Tatum puts it all together, he is so much fun to watch. He's a player with a very bright future. To the left side wing. The three is up. The shot, no good. The Celtics on offense. Richardson for three. LeBron with the rebound. James has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to Ellington. The three ball sinks the tray. And the Lakers lead by nine. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Richardson. And count the basket. 
He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Williams is checked in for Tatum, and the Lakers also making a change. Nunn's checked in for James. Boy, Josh Richardson, really the kind of guy every team could use because he's got a well-balanced 3 and D game. He does a lot for his team, brings a lot of value to whoever he plays for. Here's Ellington. Here's Howard. Pass to none. From outside the arc. And it's Canner with a rebound. Canner's got four rebounds now. Here's Pritchard. Now Williams. To the right side. Just five on the clock. Pulls up. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. None. The pass to Howard. Pass to Ellington. Over Richardson. Ellington can't hit. Well, the Celtics shooting at about 44% so far. Here's Pritchard. Puts up a three. Gets the three ball to go. Give him eight points now. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Lakers ahead, up three. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. And the Lakers looking at who they've got. We've got Trevor Ariza. He's out there with Dwight Howard. And it's Horton Tucker in at the small forward position. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Here's Williams. Following the score by the Lakers. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Brown taking on all challengers. This kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. Howard, the screen. There's the drive, and stolen by Williams. Here's Schroeder. The shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Howard with a screen on Schroeder. Westbrook into the lane, and Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That'll be foul number five on him. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Here's Williams. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Here's Brown. A phenomenal and tenacious defensive player. Howard good at using his athletic frame to put a little fear in opposing players. Down low. 
He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Canner. Now Schroeder. Rebound by the Lakers. Howard's got rebound number eight now. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. sinks the second. Building the lead to two possessions, but they have to hope the miss doesn't cost them. Schroeder against Westbrook. Canner with a screen on Westbrook. Looking to get back on track. Deflected! Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to Cinder is what he stamped that one with. Here's Ellington. And again, no good by the Lakers. The Celtics have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Richardson goes in. Oh, what you oh, say? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Come on now. Well, no easy answer for how you defend Richardson on the drive. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. That was a good time to call a timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Pass to Horton Tucker. Brown with the steal for the finish. And the jam by Brown. Brown runs the floor like a local mode of 225 pounds and wrecks defense is in transition. Now here's Westbrook. Davis with a screen on Schroeder. Here's Horton Tucker. On the wing, Davis. Over Williams. Davis. That's good. Davis has got 10 points here in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Here's Canner. Shots good by Schroeder. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Now here's Westbrook. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. Davis has got 20 points. Well, I tell you what, it's rare that you see a big man with offensive skills like Davis has. He is a talented, rare player. Now here's Williams. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. And the Lakers making a change here. James is checked in. Here's Ellington. Pass to Westbrook. It's deflected. Outside Schroeder. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. That'll be a second foul of the game. He won a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. Westbrook with it. And he lobs it up to the rim. The shot by Howard, no good. 
Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Richardson for three. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Pass to James. Outside Davis. Takes the three. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. Here's Ellington. Well, he's a nice two-way player is Richardson. I mean, good balance to his game. Strong defense like this, in addition to being a threat at the other end. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Kept alive. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to hold on to that position. Schroeder against James. Schroeder passes to Brown. Fires the three. Rebound by the Lakers. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's James. The Lakers with another miss. Boston's gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. On the wing, Richardson guarded by Howard. Richardson, no good. Oh, stolen by Richardson. And here's Schroeder outside. He buries it from three. Schroeder's got five points now in the quarter. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. James passes to Westbrook. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Richardson with it, and Howard picks him up defensively. Offensive rebound. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. There's Davis with the three. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number seven tonight. And here's Schroeder. Pass to Tatum. Tatum slams it home. It's not a problem at all for Tatum to punch it down. Length and athleticism makes the flush an easy shot. Now here's Westbrook. Davis with a screen on Schroeder. Here's Ellington. And another three for the Lakers. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half. But he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Schroeder against Howard. Shots good by Schroeder. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Here's Ellington. Here's James. Again, the Lakers. James clearly one of the best offensive talents of all time in the NBA. A special score with what seems to be a limitless arsenal. Now here's Brown. Outside Tatum. Clock at six. Steps back and shoots. That shot off. Excellent D there from Davis. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Ellington can't hit. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now here's Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Here's Westbrook. Here's James. And it's Canner with a rebound. Canner's got eight rebounds in the game. Outside Schroeder. Here he goes. Sweet little floater. And it's a four-point Celtic lead. 
encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge during a short break like this. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Davis against Tatum. Pass to James. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Tatum. You know, that's one of the reasons LeBron is so hard to defend. He puts you in a tough spot, forces you to foul him because he's so strong and athletic, and then he gets himself to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes it first. It's one of two from the strike. The Celtics with the lead. Davis against Horford. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That'll be a second foul of the game. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Smart up top. Here's Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Into the lane. Oh, and a dunk by Brown. Just 
Just awesome speed from Brown. Blasting off towards the bucket and slamming it down. Oh, there's the alley. And finished off by Davis. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Now here's Anthony. Davis with a screen on Smart. Pass to Bazemore. Here's Westbrook. Warford pulls it in. Austin's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Smart outside. Drills it from deep. Smart's got 11 in the second half. Al Horford impeding the defense there with a the solid screen. Up top, Westbrook. Defended by Smart. And it's good. Two points. And you know, Westbrook is fearless. Likes getting deep inside and finishing around the rim and plays in attack mode all the time. Pass to Smart. He's off on that one. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Here's Bazemore. Hounded by Tatum. Out left to the wing. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. No question about it. The touch is with Anthony Davis. Screen by Horford. Outside Tatum. Pass to Horford. Shoots over Westbrook. Horford can't hit. And this is so critical. They now have to score every trip up the floor. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Westbrook against Smart. Fires from deep. Oh, bangs home the three. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. And there's James from the arc. Wow. And it goes! Yeah. It's a big shot at the buzzer! That's a big shot by a big time player now they asked him for a three and he delivered yes he did a clutch shot and really what i like guys there was no hesitation he shot it freely and with confidence as a result we're headed to overtime time expires we're going to overtime and we'll be back with you shortly Teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're headed to overtime. This one should be fun. Here we go. They've got Russell Westbrook. Anthony Davis is out there with Anthony. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Bazemore in at the shooting guard position. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. So LeBron will go to the free throw line. Jalen Brown picks one up. Awesome. 
Here's Smart. And there's the drive. And it's rejected. And he gets it back. On the attack, Schroeder. And he drops the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Lakers in the lead. James, outside. Soft touch off the glass. James has got 42 in the game. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Stolen by Davis. From downtown... Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Schroeder passes to Horford. Back to Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. Knocked loose. Driving inside. A nice shot by Bazemore. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Schroeder to the paint. Pass to Tatum. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Westbrook outside. Over Smart. Westbrook with the miss. Austin trailing. With the step back. Outside Tatum. From deep. Rebound by the Lakers. We are in overtime if you just joined us. Two and a half minutes through it. Davis can't hit. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. The Lakers have gone three for six from the floor here in OT. Pass to James. To the inside. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. James has got 44. Not going to miss many chances from that range. That's LeBron's wheelhouse there. To stop the drill. Davis with a rebound for Los Angeles. They've gotten four of seven shots to go during this overtime period. Here's Westbrook. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Westbrook so good at navigating the defense. This guy has ball skills, dexterity, and a motor that just doesn't stop. He gets to his shot when he wants to. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. And he's able to hit the second one, and that stretches their lead to eight. For Boston, they've got nothing to fall out of five attempts here in overtime. Smart for three. 
again. He can't get that one. Now the Lakers take it the other way. James, a screen on Smart. Westbrook against Smart. Westbrook with the miss. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. To halt the run. And Horford with the lay-in. Well, it's so hard to stop Horford when he's that physical down low. Most defenders have a tough time dealing with it. Davis with a screen on Schroeder. Pass to Westbrook. To the middle. Davis. And slammed it home. And the foul. A chance at another point at the line. That one on Tatum. throw good from Davis Davis is really the total package a mobile sharp shooting big guy who can score from everywhere Schroeder against Davis and it's blocked by Davis pass to James and slam dunk by James and guys that's got to be the dagger this is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Now here's Smart. LeBron with the rebound. Tatum against Anthony. And finished off by Davis. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Davis, that's good. Well, look, I mean, great anticipation on one end leads to points on the other. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. Horford finds Schroeder. And it's blocked by Davis. This OT has been somewhat lackluster, mainly because both teams are clearly exhausted. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Things looked a little uneven for them down the stretch, but in overtime, they took control. And B.A., I don't think they expected this one to be so hard fought. But when they went into overtime, they really poured the gas on the fire. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. LeBron, you've accomplished so much in this league. How have you been able to sustain it for so long? You know, it's only a select few. There's not many who make it to this point. And, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can until I can't give no more. And uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations. And uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, you're a sponge for knowledge, and you have a great work ethic, and it's been fun to watch. Thanks, LeBron. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.